Hey everybody, this is Hans the Ramen Reader coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. The show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles and today, today, look at that. This is new, new instant lunch. This is Marshawn Instant Lunch Select Chicken Flavor. And there's some interesting things about this. I'm going to tell you about them. So, first off, it's 25% less sodium. Second off, this, look at this. Just look at this cup is paper. It's microwavable. You might be like, dude, I always microwave the foam cups. It's not a big deal. It's like actually... Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. But anyways, two minutes at the thousand watts, and then two minutes to chill. Here's what it looks like. I think the select means, look at that, there's a lot more veggies in there. So that's cool, I like veggies. Room temp water. This is not actually Fiji water. This is tap water that's made room temp by letting it sit out. Why? Why is this done? I'll show you in a moment. Because that will thrill you. It thrills me, the reason for this water under the sink. Now, since this is a product I have never come in contact with before, I am going to use a uh, paper plate in the microwave. I don't want it to explode. I don't want to get in trouble. So there's the paper plate. And I'll put it at a heat level of 80%. No, wait. No, it is. Yeah, 70. So. So when that's done, it'll be two minutes of sitting. So yeah. What's interesting too is when you take the uh, cardboard outer layer off that cup, because I scan all that and do all this. Ah, oh, hi Miles. Hi. How you doing? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You can go, you can go. But uh, under the, uh, under the, so there's, this a lot of the time when you get a cup noodle, it's a foam cup or it's a paper cup and then it has another cardboard layer around it. Think of like a Starbucks and then there's a sleeve. It keeps it insulated and it also keeps it so it doesn't burn the hell out of your hand. Well, when you peel it off, there's like a printer's mark on a lot of things. like. Say you open a box of Cheerios and look in the top, there'll be like some colors, there'll be like a little crosshairs. This is to line up the, uh, the print that's on the box. Well, on this one, there's the little crosshairs, but then there's a bunch of Japanese, which I thought was really interesting. I don't know if that means that Marishan Japan is printing the packaging for these things. I, I don't know, but do we have any on this one? Mm. There's a little bit of that kind of stuff. You can kind of see it right there. I don't know if you can see that. Is that what you do? Is that what you do here these days? See that little tab sticking out? Right there, that one. That's what I'm talking about. That looks like it has a printer's mark on it. I don't see any others on this package. And that's done, so now we set this timer. When that's done, that means it's, it is indeed done. Um, but yeah. 
I'm very curious about uh, how it is. What makes it select? Somebody was like, is that because it's uh, microwavable? Is that the only difference? Obviously that isn't. Um, I think something about this screams that maybe the uh, mothership in Japan is taking more of an active role in product development in the US, which I'm hoping, I'm really hoping. I tell you though, some of the, some of the packaging for Japanese products are just so tight. I mean, the, the Kuta, those are beautiful packages. This, there's no mistaking this is an instant launch. Now, are they ever going to change the packaging? Honestly, I don't think they have in decades other than this. So, but still, there's no mistaking this for anything else. So, yeah. I wonder, is this one gonna cost more? That's a big, big thing. Um, I'm pretty sure the clientele for Marishan Instant Lunch is not interested in paying anything more than what they already pay for what they get. Those are what you call heavy users. You can find like a 12 pack of Instant Lunch at stores often for like three bucks or less. So, I don't know if that's ever gonna be a, a thing. They did come out with the Marishan Gold, which is quite good. It's very much like the Marishan Saimen that they have in Japan. It just doesn't have the pork, kind of like Nissan came out with Rao for the US. Made in Japan, just no pork. So there's no import restriction. And here we go. We're gonna give this sucker a try. Ah, beautiful. A legit you may have been microwaving this stuff this way for years but guess what you were doing it wrong you weren't reading the directions I read the directions and I microwaved this legitimately hmm, can you see that it's hmm it's gonna need a good stir to completely free itself from its cosmic obtuseness it doesn't seem to want to be completely hydrated which is a bummer because I really wanted this to come out like stupendously well hydration is definitely a tricky thing microwaving is definitely a tricky thing too perhaps the 70 70 percent wasn't good enough um, but here's the thing so 1250 watt microwave that has power level zero to ten and it called for a thousand watts so uh, that would have been eighty percent it's pretty freaking hot though well let's give it another a little stir and let it sit for a minute but yeah anytime that i get something i actually asked marishan for these i was like hey you know i saw hey and it's funny, they didn't, they didn't like exactly reply to me. They, they added a letter. Uh, I didn't get to it in any unboxing because I didn't see it, but they enclosed a letter. Very boilerplate, which is fine. You know, I'm still very appreciative. Thank you very much for sending these along. But it, just, it used to be Nissan and Marishan and Nongshim and all the big players in the instant noodle market and the domestic, you know, domestic stuff in the US. I used to have like friends at all those companies, you know, it used to be like, I could go, hey dude, is there something new? Hey, I saw this, can you shoot me over something? Yeah, totally, I'd like know them on Facebook. You know, it was like I had an actual contact there that I worked with and it was great. And then all of a sudden they all went to PR firms or they went like, no, you have to submit a ticket and then we'll we'll review your ticket. It just got like all weird. I don't know why. I think it's very impersonal, which is a shame because instant noodles are a very personal thing to consumers. But I can also understand there's some crazy people out there, and a lot of them <laughs> eat instant noodles, and yeah, so maybe you don't want that either gotta cover your butts I totally understand but I remember I was told once by a uh, guy from Marishan he told me that like don't give out our phone number don't give out this information why 
because sincerely, the amount of people that we would need to run like a consumer support thing for our company, we'd have to like get another building and we'd have to hire like 200 people just to do that. And that's one big thing about Marishan too. Their bottom line is profit. They want to make a good product as cheaply as possible. There's a good, there's a really good book you should check out called The Noodle Narratives. And it's been written by a couple of anthropologists. And one of the chapters deals completely with the psychology of noodle companies in the, in the US and overseas. And their, uh, their like, their way of doing things and why they do things and how they do things. So, kind of true. Well, let's give this a try. I think we're, I think we're golden here. Okay. Let's give this another try. So I'm definitely getting the brunt of the 25% uh, less sodium. I will say it's kind of bland. However, I will say that the addition of the extra vegetables makes the broth more vegetably. Um, I won't say heartier. But, yeah, I like I like the extra vegetables very much. That's a great great thing to do. That looks like a pea. Oh, that's corn. Where's a pea? Where's a chicken? That's what we need. We need a chicken. Oh, that looks like the stuff from Kuta. See that? Maybe that's a pea. I'll bet you that's a pea. That pea is tight. That, tea, that that pea was perfect. I am impressed with that. You're like, what? Carrot's crunchy. Corn is soft. Pea is mushy and perfect. This isn't bad. I mean, it could use a little more of something, but for now, I'm I'm happy with it. It's about what I expect. But unfortunately, select, I would say this is just the 25% less sodium version with a little bit more vegetable. Um, if you're looking for like a huge change, you're not gonna find it here. But if you really like instant lunch, it's a good lower sodium option for you. So that's something to try out. I'm just stoked I got to try something new from them because I haven't had anything new from Marishan in eons. But yeah, this is your standard Econo cup noodle. Yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about with the cup really quick. So see, when you see a lip like this on the bottom, on the bottom? No. But that means you can pull it. See, I save all the packaging. I scan all the packaging for the post. Oop. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to show you. Anyways. Just go like this. Sometimes they use a lot of glue, folks. <laughs> but yeah. get that and there's your cup but if you look here let's see if I can do this part more elegantly no it's not giving it up <laughs> but underneath that which was right here there's Japanese and I've got one more of these cups so I might just like peel that sucker open just to find out what it says, get somebody to help you translate. I don't know. Um, what am I gonna do this? Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna let it be. It is what it is. This is like a clandestine thing. It's new, so. Um, 
Here we go. Thanks for watching. Yeah, the next thing you're gonna see, the next episode, don't freaking miss it because this is rad stuff. Look at this. Nudie. Trippy, huh? And you know what's trippier? It's like that. And you know what's even trippier? You cook it in this package. So there's even more trippy junk going on with it. So stay tuned, watch tomorrow. This has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye.